And we're back. Hopping into this vlog. We're about two weeks in. To be honest with you, the weight is not just falling off, although I do feel like I've dropped a lot of the water weight and I'm feeling a little bit less bloated. That bloated sensation usually comes when you're just eating whatever you want for long periods of time. So over the last two weeks, I've, I've gotten rid of the vast majority of my sweet tooth. My Pop-Tart consumption has gone way down, as has a lot of the frozen treats that I was eating kind of late at night with my family. Kind of miss that a little bit. We still have some popsicles out in the fridge, but I'm trying to forget they're there. I don't know why that was my dessert of choice, but something about COVID just made me want popsicles. Guilty as charged. Anyways, so I think when we started, I was hovering right around 202. I weighed in this morning at 197, so I'm down about five pounds. I'm about two weeks in right now. Yeah, not really coming off quite as fast as I had hoped, but again, there's other metrics other than just what shows up on the scale. Another good news, I have got my water consumption approaching around a gallon a day, maybe even sometimes as much as a gallon and a half. My actual meal consumption, I've got it down to a few different meals that I'm spacing out. I've got some recipes. I'm doing like a Santa Fe chicken chili. I'm mixing it up with some of the Barrett's Top 50. Have you guys seen that, that recipe list? Go to chooseify.com slash meals. It's a list of 50 meals that Brad Barrett and his wife Laura put together. They all nail this like $2 per person per meal metric. And most importantly, over the last five or six years, these are the ones that they consider the most delicious. So links down in the description, but go to chooseify.com slash meals for more information on that. So I'm incorporating some of those. Uh, my workouts, they're starting to crush it. I'm getting in about four to six workouts a week. Eh, I don't know, I've, I've actually never hit six workouts a week. That was a lie. But four or five workouts a week is happening. Uh, get out there, do 20, 25, 30 minutes of, of low impact cardio, just kind of as a warm up. That could be a run, a jog, a walk hop on a uh, stationary bike, row, you know, any any of that, and then transition from that into a workout, kind of a traditional weightlifting type workout where you have three or four body splits doing back and biceps, chest and triceps, leg day, shoulders, something like that. And I kind of run through those and then come back to it. I'm hoping to be incorporating some CrossFit back in in the coming weeks as, as our local CrossFit box is opening back up. So that should happen. But yeah, I'm really trying to make sure that exercise component happens, you know, four or five days a week. Giving up processed food is the hard part. I mean, when you work, it's amazing how you can work so hard for three or four days, but then it'll sneak up on you. It'll be a Friday night, a Saturday night, and you just say to yourself, I deserve it, right? And you go in there and, and I still, I still, right now, even right now, I have some Pop-Tarts in the cabinet. Brown sugar Pop-Tarts, I went my entire childhood without, without ever having one of those. And who knew, it's like the best, it's the best flavor Pop-Tart on the planet. And they're in my cabinet. Um, I'm trying to forget that. Forget it, it's not there, it's not there. Instead, my consolation prize is unsweet tea. Yeah, it's delicious. Can you, can you see? Can you see how excited I get about unsweetened tea? Anyways. Those are the big components right now. Weight's down to about 197. This is the second video that I've put out in this series and, and we'll, we'll keep these things updated as I move along. I'm looking at kind of my body composition and I'm saying, probably got about another 20 to 25 pounds to go. So we'll see if we can one, just persist. If I were to keep doing what I'm doing right now, would that get me there? Or would, will we need to make any iterations, any tweaks as we get farther down this path? Because your body's gonna start becoming more and more resistant to uh, evolving. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, two weeks in, five pounds down, feeling pretty good generally about the direction that we're moving in.